the adventures of Blaze and Star. Episode 3. Diagnosing Pregnancy in Dairy Cows. Hi, Blaze. Looking a little sleepy-eyed this morning. Yes. Great nap. I just love my sand bed. It's so comfy. You know, Blaze, today's the big day. It's been 32 days since we were artificially inseminated. There was nothing artificial about that, Star. I was holding my breath the whole time. Well, one thing about Andy, he is very fast and efficient. It was probably no more than 30 seconds from the time he grabbed my cervix until he deposited the semen in my uterus. Wham, bam, thank you, (laughs) (laughs) ma'am. Okay, Star, back to the big day. Why is today the big day? Well, Blaze, we will know the outcome of the AI. We will know if we are pregnant today. Dr. Jerry will say either pregnant or open. If pregnant, we're good to go until the recheck in 28 days. If open, we will get resynced with a shorter version of a fertility program. So, neither one of us have been in heat since the AI. Doesn't that mean we're pregnant by now? Not necessarily. There's still a chance that we could be open. Okay. Here comes Dr. Jerry. He looks funny. What is he wearing? Well, Blaze, he has his ultrasound machine strapped over his shoulder and a pair of goggles to see the little embryo. Oh. Oh. He's in. He's feeling around. Think pregnant, think pregnant, think pregnant. Pregnant. You lucky girl. Oh, he's in me now. Okay, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Pregnant. Twins. Right horn. What? We're living la vida loca. So, Blaze, do you think they'll ever have a better way to determine if we were pregnant? Well, Star, there are a couple of other ways that pregnancy can be diagnosed. Oh, really? Yes. One is with a blood or milk test. It tests for proteins called PSPB or PAGs that are produced by binucleate cells of the trophectoderm of the placental part of the conceptus. Huh? Yes, it is very accurate. And the other one is just palpation. Well, how would they know if my little embryo is alive and well if they're just feeling for the conceptus? They probably don't know that because they can't see the heartbeat of the embryo like Dr. Jerry can see with his ultrasound. We're so lucky to have Dr. Jerry. So, Star... Do you think Dr. Jerry can tell me the gender of my little embryo? No, not yet, Blaze. When he comes back to do the 60-day preg check, he can tell us the gender then. How does he know the difference in a male versus a female? Well, Blaze, he looks for the genital tubercle. If it's under the tail, it's a female. If it's on the abdomen near the umbilicus, then it's a male. Wow. You are smart, Star. And I thought I knew everything. (laughs) Can't let you get ahead of me, Blaze. Blaze.